How would you assess their bullpen right now? Uh, very good. It, it came in as a question mark. I was uh, a bit iffy when they decided um, not to pick up the option on Givens. So I was like, man, they, they have some needs back there. And, and they filled those. Adovino was a very nice addition. Giving him that two-year gives him the security that he earned because he was so good last year. And there was a guy named Aaron Loop that had an incredible season. And that one was a little bit scary because I wasn't sure it was as repeatable to come and throw a sub one. So to see him go uh, was one thing. But what Adovino did last year, the way he's spinning the ball, what he talked about when he aged, he learned how to use his fastball, how to use his slider, how to change things. He's one of those cerebral pitchers too. That's going to be able to translate into these next couple of years because he's not just stuff. He's also really smart. And so I love that addition. And then I, I wanted David Robertson at the end of last year at that trade deadline. Now they have to, they got to, to sign him, add that to the bullpen and they didn't have to give up any prospects. So I, I really like where they are. I feel like they maybe need one more, two more pieces for depth, but I, I like the, where they are right now in the, in the scheme of the bullpen. I'm with you, Jerry. I, I like the Adovino return. Um, look, you're, you're right. He is a thinker on the mound. He's, you know, before last season, he had a lot of trouble with walks, and he corrected that with the Mets last year. I, he was averaging like five walks per nine innings through the, the previous four years, and, and last year was down in the low twos. So that shows a guy who knows what his weaknesses are, studies his own game, and will take steps and getting some help from the staff in New York as well uh, to make amends to, to what's going on there. Uh, they needed a veteran arm, another guy with a track record, and I I agree there there's room for more more guys to bring in they don't have to be big splashy two-year deal type guys but there could be some more arms in the pen yeah but it's already better this year going in than it was last year that was a clear weakness that they never really addressed properly now they're loaded uh, as I said I always look at the triangle trust in those bullpens you have three good arms they now have four and I don't think that they're done yet Hannah Andy Martino reported earlier in the day White Sox closer Liam Hendricks is on the Mets radar does he make sense for the Mets well he's an incredible pitcher. He's probably the second best closer right now. He has a he had a 2.26 ERA in almost 240 innings since the start of 2019. He's he's great. He's a great pitcher. He's also a really nice guy. He's a cool, intense personality. He's really different. He builds Legos in the locker hmm. room. Uh, but he's a closer, and and he I think likes prefers to pitch the ninth inning. Um, they have Diaz there now, so I think if he wants to come in and be flexible, that's an incredible depth piece I guess to have but I don't know I can see him fitting better elsewhere.